What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 19 Ultimate Team. How you guys doing, man? We are back, and it is time to continue things with our new lineup that we have. As you guys know, last time out, we made some big changes to our offense, and they have been showing out, man. They have been putting up constant points on the scoreboard. You guys know we got our new QB, Drew Brees. We got some protection for him on that left side with Ogden and Osimile. Now it is time to go ahead and continue to beef up that offensive line for not only our run game, but also our pass protection for Drew Brees, and get ourselves some new offensive linemen on the right side so that means obviously our right guard and our right tackle now for our right tackle yet again we're, we're, we're going to be sticking with this guy a little bit longer lane johnson i mean he's one of the best right tackles in the league he's one of the best right tackles in the game up until this point so we did have his 90 overall power up card already on our team and it's now time to go ahead and get his team diamond which I, you guys did just see i added to his power up and then his ghost of madden card which you guys can see added to the power up is going to make him a 96 overall in the power up now for our right guard again marshall yanda this is a guy where we're not going to be keeping Keeping this guy for too much longer because he's only a 95 overall i'm eventually going to get a new face because you know yanda i'm not going to lie even though the stats look pretty good as you guys can see now 95 overall in his power up you know 95 pass block 95 run block i mean yeah the stats look pretty decent this entire year with Yonda Man, he just does not perform very well. I don't know what it is. Maybe his card is just cursed or something. But Lane Johnson, now 97 overall with chemistry. As you guys can see, 97 pass block and 94 run block. Now, that's really going to be it just for our offense today. I mean, like I did just say, I mean, we've really been having like a lot of success, a lot of success with our offense. I mean, the only really addition I feel like that we really needed to do for today's episode was the offensive line like we just did. So now it's time to flip over to the defense and we are going to make a few more changes over here starting with our right outside linebacker cornerback number one and our starting right end so for our outside linebacker you guys are going to see here we do have our mystery player Terrell Suggs He's been on our team for the longest, man. It is finally time we demote that guy and put him as our right outside linebacker number two. And for our mystery player, as you guys can see, once we reveal who this guy is, a lot of you were able to guess this correctly. Shout out to those of you guys who were able to get it. It is going to be Master Telvin Smith. But obviously, you know, we're, we're 10 months into Mad 19, man. Of course, we are not going to be going ahead and having a 91 overall Master card that came out months ago being added as the starter of our team. We're going to be getting the most recent addition Addition of Telvin Smith to our team which I know there's another upgrade but at the time of this this was the the highest overall card that you could get of Telvin Smith once we add him to the power up we've got the draft card which is a 97 overall all the chemistry is active and everything Telvin Smith now sits as a 99 overall with 94 speed at outside linebacker I mean that's that's pretty good I'm not gonna lie I know a lot of people you know like to see higher speeds than that but I mean for an outside linebacker having 94 speed I think that's pretty crazy so I'm excited to see what Telvin Smith is going to do on the field for us but next up two last positions on the defense we now have our right end Jabal Sheard he is a 95 overall playoff card of course you guys already know like I've been saying in the past few episodes Whenever we, get, whenever we get a new player added to the team, we are, of course, going to go ahead and power them up all the way to the max capability, you know, getting the highest overall, adding all the chemistries and everything. And you guys can see Jabal Sheard now sits as a 97 overall, two overalls up from his normal base card from the playoff card. And you guys can see 85 speed, 97 tackle, 99 block shedding, and 97 finesse move for Jabal Sheard. I think he's going to do just fine down there on the D-line. And last but not least, we have one more player to get, and that is going to be our number one starting cornerback and this is a guy I have been dying to get on my team I mean I, I'm becoming like a pretty big fan of him in real life obviously because he, he's a part of my own team Marlon Humphrey but just in year number two like I feel like this guy just progressed so much from the first to the second year and I cannot wait to see what year number three is going to have in store for Marlon Humphrey because I, I really do feel like this guy's going to become big like I think he's going to be a premier corner in this league I already think he's really really good and you know I, I'm just super excited for this guy but 99 overall came up Marlon Humphrey with 98 speed 98 man coverage and 99 zone i'm super pumped to finally have a guy like this on the team because you know we're usually used to only having like the good raven players and ultimate team be like ray lewis ed reed and terrell sugg so i'm super excited about having marlon humphrey here of course we're gonna see him in that new number next year number 44 because he decided to go ahead and let earl thomas rock the number 29 but that's gonna do it for all the changes of today's episode and you know what we're gonna change things up today instead of doing our head-to-head -head season we're gonna go ahead and play in the house rules now this was like the house rules from like three four weeks ago or something like that it's a little old not going to lie but you know what we're progressing too fast in our head-to-head -head season because we're already like five wins in and i'm not quite ready for the playoffs just yet so just for today we're going to change things up a little bit and play in some house rules 
All right, everybody, welcome back to the best Madden ever made, Madden 19. The, the commentators decided to take the day off because they're lazy shits. But anyways, here, here's the matchup. Have fun, guys. Bye. So in case you guys didn't read it, the house rules for this week, it is called the green zone. And basically, any offensive touchdown that you get between the 10 and 20 yard line is going to count as double the points. You're going to get 12 points for a touchdown between those yard marks as opposed to 6 points, which is crazy, man. So obviously, that is going to be our goal for this game. Now, on second and four here, going with the play action, I knew I was going to be able to get my opponent to bite on that and think I was running the ball, but we got him on the play action. Chris Carter going for a catch of 33 yards. Second and 10 now. Drew Brees in the pocket. He's going to find his man, Tyreek Hill, breaking out of a bunch of tackles. This man's still trying to fight and go for it. We pick up a first down, now down to the 25-yard line. So now it is a third and six, 21-yard line. Not in the green zone just yet. Dumping it off to Marshawn Lynch. Try hitting him with the spin move. But unfortunately, we were just short of the first down marker. So it's going to be a fourth and one. But of course, I'm going to be going for this. And as you guys can see, we are in the green zone. So if we get a touchdown here, no it's way. going to be worth 12 points. And oh my gosh, Chris Carter got tackled at like the inch line, man. I swear that ball just crossed the line, man. I swear Chris Carter reached that hand over and he got the touchdown. That should have been 12 points. But you know what? It's all good. We're going to go with the QB sneak to Drew Brees. The most realistic animation you're ever going to see by a QB sneak for Drew Brees in Mad 19. Obviously, that was sarcasm. But just like that, we are now up 7 to nothing on my opponent. So, this guy does have Lamar Jackson, you know, the fastest QB in the game. He is absolute hell trying to contain. But on 2nd and 10 now, Lamar Jackson, again, scrambling out of the pocket. This is pretty much how this guy's offense went. I mean... I was doing a pretty good job of locking this guy down, like, in terms of all of his receivers and whatnot. But if I would forget to go with a QB spy, this guy was taken off with Lamar and was guaranteed first down every single time. So I just pretty much had to put a QB contain up or a QB spy up for this guy, and that was it. This guy's offense was going to be shut down. So you guys can see we did get the sack on that last play by Chuck Benarek. Third and 17 now, Lamar throwing it up deep. That should have been my interception. I was there with Telvin Smith, and just like that is going to be an incompletion. Fourth and 17 for my opponent, and... It's Madman. Of course, this guy's going to go for it. Even on a 4th and 17, Lamar standing in the pocket, throwing it all the way across the field. Gotcha, bitch. And that is going to be intercepted by Deion Sanders. And, oh, man, if I just would have cut that ball to the right or cut that to the right with Deion, I really think that could have been a, a, a pick six. Like, I, I thought that was going to happen. But now we're taking things back over on offense. Drew Brees, I mean, what a pass. What an absolute pass to Chris Carter right over top of that defense, man, for a pickup of a first down. That was disgusting. <laughs> what the f***? And speaking of disgusting, uh, yeah, I, I threw an interception. Okay, you know what? I, I thought I was going to be able to get Shockey there over the top, but you know what? I, I guess that's not the case. So pretty much the whole rest of the first half, nothing really happened right here. Bad timing user pick. I, I can't stand when that happens, and I hold triangle before the ball is even thrown. I don't know why I do that. It's just like a habit. But anyways, should have been gotcha, an interception with Telvin Smith. But guess what? This guy with Lamar Jackson, he did the same thing every single play. He pretty much just scrambled to the left side of the field with Lamar, stood there, waited to get a route open, and then just chucked it up. But you guys can see this guy's failing miserably. He's 0 for 8 so far with Lamar Jackson. And you guys did see Marlon Humphrey, our new 99 overall cornerback, did come up with the interception. So just like that, we we find Chris Carter on the route. Back-to-back -back plays, I should say, actually. We are now finding Chris Carter once again down to the 25-yard line. So now my goal, obviously, is trying to get in that green zone. So I'm going to run the ball with Marshawn, and we do just that. We're now at the 18-yard line. So guess what? We're in the green zone. It's time to go ahead and try and get ourselves a touchdown, which would get ourselves 12 points. And on third and three, Chris Carter, middle of the end zone, completely wide open, diving catch. What a game Chris Carter is having right now, man. That is a 12-point touchdown. You guys can see the scoreboard. It's 19 to nothing, but obviously it didn't really matter because you guys see it. Your peer conceded the game. As soon as you get a touchdown in the green zone in house rules, man, your opponents are done. They're, they're leaving instantly, and there's no question about it. So just like that, we got ourselves the win, and I decided, you know what? We, we got to play at least one more game. That one was a little bit too short, so we're hopping in here to our second one now. Oh, my God, Ray Lewis destroying LeGarrette Blunt on that play. That was disgusting. That honestly should have been a hit stick fumble. But on second and nine now for Michael Vick, we've got that completely locked up. That is Jamal Adams covering the flats there on Ricky Williams. Third and six now for Michael Vick in the Eagles uniform. Gotcha, bitch. 
and we got redemption let's go man telvin smith getting the interception finally we made a play with this guy i was hoping it was going to happen this episode man and we got the user interception with telvin smith after getting the the bad timed user pick from the last one out and second and 10 here okay maybe maybe i got a little bailed out on that play i'm not sure how that wasn't intercepted but you know what we'll, we'll just we'll just keep rolling with things here and on first and 10, we are at the 10-yard line. We are in the green zone. Drew Brees ends up getting sacked. Okay, that was bad. I couldn't find anybody open. Chris Long, the newly retired Eagle, is going to go ahead and get the sack. So on second and 21, I was like, all right, let me get back in the red zone, or the green zone, I should say, with Marshawn Lynch. Almost went past it, actually. We actually are now at the 11-yard line. So on third and 10, Drew Brees trying to find somebody open. If we get a touchdown, it's 12 points. And Jeremy Shockey just runs by the defense and that is a 12 point touchdown for this offense man look at them guys celebrating in the end zone dancing having a good time but of course like you guys just heard me say it whenever you get the bonus point touchdowns in house rules your opponents are instantly leaving the game so that is going to do it for today's episode man i hope all of you guys did enjoy it like i said the offense the defense we have just been playing so good obviously there's room for improvements but i like i, I just feel like we don't even need the improvements but of course we're, we're still gonna make changes in the next episode so next one out of course we'll be back to our head-to-head -head seasons i just wanted to take a little bit of a break and try out some house rules for you guys just something a little bit different but once again that's going to do it for today's episode you guys i hope all of you did enjoy it if you did be sure to put a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i will catch you all in the next one take it easy guys peace out